There we go. Out here on the flat, Steve Von Brandt and Kurt Von Brandt here for the Bass College. We're throwing a dirty jig swim jig. Little zoom speed crawl trailer on the back. Fish. Trying to find some of the bigger fish out here in the grass. Pretty fish. hard to do. The fish has been caught a lot, man. It's yeah, it's been caught been a broken. lot of times, huh? Decent fish. Nice fronts coming through. Temperature's only 65 degrees. Got about a five mile an hour wind right now. Using eye rods. I rod Air and Genesis 2, Sunline Braid, 60 pound test, dirty jig swim jigs, bro popping frogs, throwing a new jig too here on the back for a little bit, seeing how that works. Coming through the grass just great so far, so we'll see how that works today. Maybe go in, run up here, and hit some lay down. Don't want to swim jig. Nice one. I was just flipping that one, though. that one I wasn't swimming it. Yeah. That's what I was telling you. You just flip the, the best looking pockets. No, a good one. There you go. Flipping those pockets with the jig. Three pounder. Yeah, out on the grass flats. You can see Haver to Grace right behind us. That fish is healthy. Yeah, that's a nice one. Broken jaw, that one, nothing. I missed another one just a second ago that was about five or six. Good fish. There we go. Look at that, man. Spro frog. I had another one too. Probably bigger than this. Smashed it. That's a good five pounds. Nailed it out here in this grass. You gotta look for a different kind of grass. You gotta look clear. Decent, huh? That's on a snag proof frog, but black and blue, but snag proof. We were just saying, I bet you they hit a different frog, so that's why we changed up to a different frog. Not a giant, but a good one. Sunline FX2 grade. It's a keeper for sure. Yeah. Pound and a half. That's that's five. Yeah. For me. And I had what three? I missed two. Well, that they missed really it. Nice. But and then caught the one. That All right. Five, here we five. go. I got a nice one here. Look at that. Look at that baby I just caught. It's <laughs> a good four pounder. Look at that spro popping frog. Oh, that's four and a half. Maybe weighs five. I'm telling you, I got a scale in there. I bet you weighs five. It's got a lot of weight. Imagine that had a belly in the spring. That's a six pound bass in the spring. Just That's a nice fish. fish. Nice. Decent. What's up with, hold on, what's on the bottom? I don't know. It, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's a sore. That's some, some kind of kind. Weird sore. Alrighty. Let's see okay. how big this thing is. If I can get it out of the grass. Oh, yeah. it's like that. Yeah. It's nice. Oh, yeah, yeah just a good one. A good one, another good one. Look at that. Three and a half, four pounds, that's fine. Yep. I can deal with that, huh? Alrighty. What's that? Let's see that fish now. Oh that's yeah, that's solid. decent. Let that one go. Let's get some more. Yeah, black is definitely the deal. Wow. Because I just threw my bait right there and then he threw it right in and he hit it. Another one. We've got uh, a five fish limit now that weighs what eighteen pounds or so, that's pretty good. 
Yep. All right, buddy. Let they're him decent. go. They're healthy looking too. This yeah, one. let him go. You're right. There we go. Another small one. Uh, pound and a half, two pounds. On the Spro Poppin' Frog. You can see where he came from. Furnace Bay in the background. Cloud cover, water temperature. Okay. <laughs> Flipped him up out of that tree, didn't we? Right here in Swan Creek. Nice bass. Oh, yeah. Hefty. Good. Adds to the limit. Nice bass. Not giant, but good, solid tournament fish. Really nice looking. Look at that. Decent, decent fish. Eat that jig. Yeah, he sure did. Sunline FX2 braid, eye rod air. Throwing them on Shimano Corrado. This is what they came out of. Right out of here. Tell them about how you caught this one, man. Put the jig all the way underneath of the tree, up against the bank there. Don't he ran with it, set the hook, had him in the boat in two seconds. Yeah. That's how you got to catch some of these. They're close to you, reel them in. Long fish. Yeah, we got two good limits now. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's that, about three? Two and a half, three, I guess. Fat. They're all healthy fish. Yeah, real fat. Now show them that jig and tell them about that. The half ounce. Dirty jig, jig flip and bring. You got the net bait pocket fish ball, right? Fish came right off of that ladder. Right. I took Kurt in here and I said, every time if you flip these docks here, one of these docks, the first two, you're going to get one right off of there. He set the hook. Just when we were uh, moving in between docks and I just threw it up against the bank and swam it back to the boat. He hit it. It's a flipping jig, but he hit it like a swimming jig. Now here we come into the little marina here, up from Cara Cove. Tell them a little bit about Bay what's Bay been happening, Kurt. It's Bay Boat Works is actually what it's called. Yeah. Uh, they were hitting in the grass pretty good this morning on the frog. And then uh, the tide came in a little bit and that changed and they stopped hitting. So we went and we hit some trees. Caught some nice ones on a jig and some trees. And uh, then we left there. Now we're hitting some docks in the northeast. We caught the last couple on that. We're going to try in here. There's some docks. And there's some lily pads. See if we can't catch them there. Water temperature 75.5, three feet deep. No, I've caught several there, but that's the biggest one I've caught there. I've caught about 10 or 12 there. Most of them are on that crankbait, on the 1.5 or that Spro Little John, and then uh, the other ones are on a jig. We're getting ready to call it a day. we got to get in. We stayed longer than we should have, really, but it was a... A really productive day. Nice fish on the frog, nice fish on the jig and docks, different types of fish. Yeah, so that was pretty good. Hopefully next time we'll get find even more concentrations of the larger fish. Pull out one of those uh, 25 to 28 pound bags. Just what we need. All right, we're gonna get out of here. We had a great day hit jigs and frogs pretty good. So until next time, this is Steve Von Brandt for the Bass College down here with Kurt Von Brandt. And we'll see you next time down in the water.